Okay, it's recording. All right, my name is Gerard Morant, and I'm in my lab, my living room, and uh, you've probably seen me before in the videos. And then uh, I'm a gentleman who came from uh, Oregon and drive up here to play with my toys and get some a uh, some neat experiments. So what we're going to do? We're just going to walk through as before we're going to start it. So it's lots of wire here and lots of on the stand, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we start with two 18 volt battery again connect in series to a single two speed switch it's just you know on off and with speed one speed two and then we move into a 24 volt dc uh, dc volt uh it's a uh, 24 uh the amperage i'm not too sure is very low amperage at more very high quality now you'll see banks with magnet on it the only reason i put that is it gave me an extra 20 some volts for free by putting my so can my motor spin faster. Now those little transformers, step up, step on transformer, they're just stuck there so they're not loose. It's just they're just stuck to, to the, the magnet so we have nothing fl flying around here. Now the pump is off. We're turning this little uh, uh, magnet pump, literally magnet motor, and uh, with no brush. And what it does is just produce a hundred and fifty volt maximum when nothing is on the load. Uh, amperage or wattage watt is almost imp impossible to read it. So we're going to connect that, as you see, to the low part of the step-up transformer, and then the second lead coming out of the transformer on the same side of the transformer, it will be hooked up to a bunch of AD light and two ceramic caps. And after that. We come back to here, the other side of the step-up transformer, on the upper side of the transformer, which is putting 300 volt, I put it and connect it directly to my larger high, high voltage transformer, step-up transformer. So this one will, is connected directly to this 1000 watt light bulb, high pressure sodium, which we're not, I'm not using the light bulb as a light, I'm using it as something to see the free electron going into the tube. The second side of the light bulb is hooked up to a spark gap, which you can adjust the spark inside. It's uh, very simple, you know, it's just a normal uh, motor, motor vehicle uh, unit you can buy, you know, to make a spark gap. And that's connected to the other output of my transformer. So that's a little loop on a high voltage. It only goes to the bulb, through the spark gap, and back into that transformer. Now, the sparks, we connect, it's very simple. I remove everything out of the floodlight, LED floodlight, the all two volt floodlight and it's 10 per, per circuit, all connect in series. So it takes 20 volt to run that light, 20 volt to run this light, 20 volt to run that light. It's all 20 volt, They're all connect in series. Minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, just like hooking up a bunch of batteries together to make more volt. And as you can see, they're all connected in series and it connected back to the caps, to the two ceramic cap capacitor. And we go back to this side to another small doubler. It's a little bit smaller transformer, but it does the same job as this one, same voltage, one and three. And we're feeding into the low end of the trans uh, the high end of the transformer. And we closing the loop on the other side of the transformer by just putting a jumper between the two transformer. And that goes back to the pump, to the second leg of the pump. So now that our, our power goes like this, and to those, goes through, and back to the system and to the light bulb. And this one here runs only this big transformer, and, and, and it runs this spark gap and the big bulb. Now, I don't know if people, it's, it's kind of, it's lots of wire up here, but we're going to do one step at a time, so I will disconnect the big transformer. So we're not running this here, and then we'll turn the machine on, and we'll see how much of those light will come up. That's literally, that's five flood light right now I'm going to, I'm going to light up. That's almost, uh, there are 13 hard lumen each, uh, three of them in those ones are 1150, so I'm pushing out over six uh, six thousand lumen so let's see how that turns out 
as you can see, every one of them worked perfectly. And now we're going to see the voltage. I'm going to give you a reading of the voltage on that point of time what's happening. So we have 120 volts coming out, coming back to the pump after the is going through those lights. Now I'm going to disconnect the pump. Now we'll see the full amount of voltage when the pump is having nothing. 145 volts, right? 146 volts. Now I'm going to reconnect the system, right? So I'm burning 6,000 lumens and only cost me 20 some volts, but I should be burning 100 volt there. Now we will connect the big transformer in the loop till we get this big one going in a spur gap because that is just lost current right now. We're recuperating from this. Now we have the flow of electron. And let's see how much volt our pump is putting. 163. Now we have we're making more volt back to the pump than what the original pump does with no con nothing connect to it. Now where I'm getting all the extra electricity suddenly, I'm running 6,000 lumens. An experimental, so you can see a flow of electrons, a spur gap, a transformer which is run, you use about 30% of the juice to just to run the cell. Another set of, another stepped up transformer, we use another 40% where you put in to go through, and a doubler here. Where I'm adding all this energy and I'm getting more voltage into my pump than when I start with nothing connected to it. Now, if anybody can explain that thing, I'm, you know, the battery can produce all that here. I don't care what you do, you cannot produce all this here. I mean, like, you know, we have limit here. But now I'm turning everything on, running. The light is on, everything is on, and believe me, the guy behind the camera is just is wondering what is happening here. But the biggest thing here is why that I'm getting 160 volts back to my pump when I'm running all this thing here. When the true voltage in my pump, I'm going to disconnect the pump. See the true voltage in my output in my pump, maximum output is. 140, 344 volts. When I add all the load to my pump, I go up and I'm gaining 20 volts. Now I'm running all that and I'm getting an extra two volts to throw away yet. So if it does not call free energy, I don't know how you call that. So if you have any answer what I'm doing, Contact this gentleman who's behind the camera because it's just mind-boggling.